Hey everyone, this is Nemo and in today's video we will have an overview of the very very best search module for PrestaShop available out there. It's been developed by a DH42 and it's called Algolia Search. Now, if you don't know Algolia, you're missing out the fastest search API of the web. And what the module does is it implements this awesome API into PrestaShop. Now, to give you a clear idea of what it does, I have a demo site here which has roughly uh, 35,000 products, as you can see. And you can imagine how slow it would be with the standard PrestaShop search. So, the Algolia module is installed already. So, let's try it out. So, in the front office, let's look for cream. Bam! instant search just how blazing fast was that not only it also gives you filters which you can of course uh, define in the back office that can help your customers refine the search and there is no comparison at all with that ugly layer navigation which by the way is also limited to categories see how fast this is as well just blazing fast now before continuing you should know this module is not free, but the base version here costs $150 and Algolia is a paid service as well. However, I know the developer of this module is working on a distributable demo version and Algolia has a free 30 days trial as well. So anytime soon you should be able to test this module in any case for free for purchasing. So let's talk a bit about the back office. As soon as you install the module, you'll see a new item popping out in the menu bar labeled Algolia Search. So let me click on it. And the first page you will actually see is credentials. And here you'll have to add the credentials you can get in the Algolia dashboard, which is this one. So uh, you just have to click on API keys. I just mask them out for now. Uh, you get these application ID, search only API key and admin API key. You paste them into the um, Algolia search boxes and then just save the changes. Um, the index name doesn't really matter unless you have multiple indexes at Algolia. Okay. So the next step is to configure the UI. First, you must be sure that the DOM selector for the search bar matches yours. And the default setting usually works on every PrestaShop, but in case it doesn't, or in case um, the settings do not save or reset for any reason, just reach the front office, right click, and inspect the search box, and you can try getting the ID. Then, uh, knowing it, you will just have to change it like this. Okay, I will just leave it as it is for now. Then search experience, aka options. You can turn on uh, autocomplete for the search, then tell the module if your theme has a left column in the home page so that it can be used to display facets, uh, well, filters over there. Then the order of these filters an option to turn on or, or off the instant uh, search page we just saw, then the selector for the results container, again, the default one should work, then the number of results per page, and replace categories. What is this? I didn't mention it so far, but yeah, if you turn on this option, Algolia will replace categories as well. So let's see it in action. Let's say skincare. Let me close this first. Skincare. And as soon as the page loads, well, you can see Algolia is here as well with all of the filters you need. And we'll see how to add new ones in a second. And it's awesome speed. So back to the admin panel. The last option for the UI lets us choose a theme among three. The first one is for uh, the default template, then for Transformer and Warehouse, which are the most popular PrestaShop themes at the moment. 
Then, attributes. These represent the filters or facets you might want to display. And as you can see, you can choose any of the properties of a product and combinations and features as well. So to make them usable in the facets box, uh, you just have to uh, click on facetable here and then choose a facet type. Uh, this column is used to decide how the filter should work. If in conjunction with others um, or like a menu so that you can choose multiple entries at the same time or a slider as you could see here for the price. Searchable configuration now. This tells Algolia which fields it should search in when using the search box. So it's pretty straightforward and easy to understand. Ranking lets you define the importance of each field so that you can really tailor the search on your business needs. Sorting is again easy to guess and will give you option to sort by any of these fields. It's uh, disabled for now on this side. Lastly, a really awesome feature, search term. What is this? Well, from this page, you can create landing pages for your searches. Uh, for example, the first one is lip glaze. And if we click on the link, we are brought to a page that will display the search results for the string lip glaze. And of course, it takes full advantage of Algolia's speed and filters, but it's amazing because the page can easily be indexed by search engines and it's also user friendly. I don't know if you can see it, uh, you should now. You can see you have a specific uh, page URL, friendly URL for this search result instead of the ugly uh, normal search query with all weird parameters and so on. Of course, you can define um, a meta title, a meta description, and you can choose the rewritten URL as well for the search term um, you want to look for. Just great. Now, after configuring the back office, before you can use Algolia, you need to index products. And to do this, um, simply hit re-index data at the top. I will not do it for now, of course, but it will take um, from a couple of minutes up to about half an hour, depending on the size of your catalog. This site's, uh, site, which is, as I said, has about 35,000 products, takes roughly uh, 20 minutes or so to index the whole catalog. All right, I think we are done with this video. I hope you got excited about this fantastic module as I am. So don't miss the chance to check it out at the URL you will find on screen now, as well as in the video description. And if you like the video, please subscribe the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for more great PrestaShop tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.